What is up my dudes? Welcome back to part two of this bandit project series that we've got going on. If you've missed part one, I'm gonna put a link down in the description or something up top here will pop up that you'll be able to click and you'll be able to watch that part one. Kind of catch up on what's going on with this bike. Big plan today is to just be able to check the compression and then maybe go in and take a look at the valve clearance. Something that I didn't notice when I bought the bike was that actually one of the carburetor boots on cylinder number two, when they put it on, the carburetor boot just kind of folded in on itself and I don't know, he mentioned something about a vacuum leak, the guy, and I wonder if that was it and he just didn't tell me. So me being not observant enough and too excited about the Bandit, I didn't notice it, but I will tell you that the bike ran fantastic, so I've got really high hopes for this engine. Super excited to start digging into this. I actually got the gaskets for the petcock and the carburetors last week, but my knee has been so bad over the weekend, and for anyone who's been subscribed, you know I broke my knee last year, not on a motorcycle, so don't worry. That aside, today our main goal is going to be taking off this big front fairing. The fairing is in the way of the spark plug, I can't get to the valve cover, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna be using the GoPro today as opposed to my regular vlogging camera because I feel like something's going on with the screen and I'm not sure if it's gonna be recorded or not. I've been truly blessed by an old coworker at ANS who gave me a Suzuki factory manual. Um, I have a lot of these pages printed out as I worked on my other bandits, but to actually have the book is truly a blessing. And I, I honestly couldn't be happier. I freaking love this book. But let's start with the fairing. We'll pull all the parts off and get this thing jamming. All right, so here's the deal. I'm just gonna make this quick. Um, I'm not gonna get to the compression test today because the carburetors are in far worse condition than I originally thought they would be. And hopefully now that everything's off, I've got a light here, you'll be able to see this out of the way, uh, what I'm talking about with that carburetor boot. And obviously somebody just put it on and didn't care to check and see that they were all on right and it's all messed up it got folded in I'm gonna have to take off uh, more than just the fun parts I'm gonna have to take off the not fun parts which is doing these which means I need to order new o-rings um, and I don't want to do the compression test until I know that everything is as good as it can get the overflow uh, these like drain literally just broke off and um, I'm kind of disappointed in that. Gas tank is leaking pretty bad just from the seal. Carburetors are absolute disgusting. I mean, it's not that much different than the other band I had. Those were very disgusting. But these are just, um, not just dirty, they're very leaky. They're just coated in gas. A lot of work. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit more time than just one day. I thought I'd be able to just quickly get this done in one day, but not the case. I guess one last thing we can do before I end this video is check, chickity chick check, those spark plugs. 
very much covered in fuel and there's oil, which concerns me. So, so far, spark plug health is not looking too good and I know there's gonna be a couple of you haters out there who are like, haha, the bike turned out to not be that good. You know, whatever, uh, you, you gotta take chances sometimes. You gotta go with your gut feeling. I think it's gonna work out. I think I'll figure it out. It's definitely a lot, ran a lot better than my Bandit, that's for sure. I'll see you guys day two tomorrow. All right, so I'm not sure what note I left off on as far as this video goes while trying to sort through all of my footage. I think I might have left off talking about the spark plugs or something like that, trying to pull the bandit apart so that I can get to the valves and the carburetors and all that stuff. So let me just finish off this video with what's going on right now. Today it is Tuesday, June 16th. And I know it's been a little bit since I've updated and posted part one, but basically I did a massive parts order and that was just tons of gaskets, everything from valve gaskets to some of the carburetor seals to exhaust gaskets, air filter, all the OEM parts that I needed and I ordered them through Bike Bandit. And I don't know if anyone else has done any orders through Bike Bandit, but as you know right now, or you may not know right now, is that they are going through a massive delay. And I even saw a comment on someone left on their Facebook page saying that they just filed for bankruptcy. And they have two warehouses, as far as I'm aware, a warehouse in San Diego here on the West Coast in California. They said declared bankruptcy. And whether or not that's true, this is just somebody who posted on Facebook, I don't know, but it would make sense to me because they are not shipping anything right now. So I placed an order for all these parts three weeks ago. Slowly over the last three weeks, more emails have come in saying that things have been delayed. After one week, I did call somebody and try and figure it out and they said it would probably be about three to four weeks before anything shipped out. I called today and now there is no ETA. They have no idea when parts are going to ship. And honestly, the guy told me to order from Amazon that I would be better off because they're actually shipping parts. But it would have been nice for them to actually put that on their website and say, hey, listen, there is no shipping time. There is no ETA because I wouldn't have had to have been sitting around for three weeks only to cancel my entire order. I've got a carburetor video coming out and I ordered this I got two of these from Partzilla, and this is just for the carburetor I was missing, so the little boots for the fuel T valve, and I got it within a week. I was really tempted to just try and go through eBay and try and rush ship all this stuff and do it individually, but I'm going to give Partzilla a chance, and because I had good luck with them with this last order showing up in like a week, week and a half. But with the way things are going, I want to keep providing videos for you guys. I am working on the valve adjustment video. I am finishing up a carburetor video, full breakdown carburetor video. So I've got lots of footage to edit in the meantime, uh, and I'm gonna get to start customizing it, I guess, because honestly, I don't know when this bike is gonna be put back together. Like I said, it's been three weeks waiting for those parts only to cancel them. So if you're considering ordering parts for Bike Bandit, definitely don't. <laughs> it's super disappointing and I wanted to get this bike running and back on the road like now. I wanted the parts now. I figured a couple of weeks wouldn't be so bad, but with three weeks in and no ETA, it's like, I can't keep waiting. Uh, I've, I've got to have these parts at least coming. They have no answer. So I guess that's where we're going to leave part two. I really wanted to get this thing on the road, but we are currently experiencing sh extreme shipping delays for parts. And I know this is across the board with a lot of places. I think I'll just get started with Wasteland Wednesdays again and start doing customizing because uh, I can't wait to show you guys what I want to do with it. And I'm actually gonna get started on that today, so uh, I'm very excited. If you wanna support this channel, down in the description, I have links to my Patreon, where you can sign up and get all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, stuff that I haven't released about the Bandit yet. It's gonna be coming out in future videos. You can also check out my Tee Public, where I've got lots of designs. You can get my logo and whatnot, and stickers and t-shirts and all that good stuff. And maybe I didn't make this as clear in my last video, nothing is changing on YouTube. I'm not, withholding anything from YouTube, everything's still gonna be posted on YouTube. All I'm saying is on Patreon, there's gonna be more stuff. I do a lot of like blog style posts talking about what I'm doing with the project and it's all stuff that I'm gonna tell the YouTube channel eventually, but it's just early access. If you're not able to sign up for Patreon or buy stickers and shirts and stuff, I still appreciate you. Everyone who subscribes, watches my videos, likes and comments and whatnot. So that's enough of me blabbering. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to have a part three 
really soon when all the parts come in and we're gonna get this thing back on the road. So, see you guys in the next one.